real-life problems. In this video, we are going to look at real-life problems which require us to use the algebraic skills we have just learned. Firstly, we will look at the formula used to convert degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. We want to find out what is the equivalent temperature in degrees Celsius when it is 24 degrees Fahrenheit. To do this, we use the formula, which is C equals 5 over 9 to be multiplied by F minus 32. Firstly, we know from the question that F is equal to 24. So we're going to fill this into our formula. Then we simplify what's in the brackets. So 24 minus 32 give us minus 8. Next we must multiply in the minus 8. So we get C equals 5 by minus 8 will give us minus 40 to be divided by 9. So minus 40 divided by 9 gives us minus 4.4 this off to minus 4.44. And don't forget that our answer is degrees Celsius. So our answer is minus 4.44 degrees Celsius. Now we will try a second problem. We want to find the volume of a cylinder whose height is 17 centimetres and whose radius is 5.5 centimetres formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is given by the algebraic expression V equals pi r squared h, where pi is estimated to be 3.14. r is the radius, so r in this question is 5.5, and h is the height, so in this question h is 17. Now we fill these values into our formula. So V equals 3.14 multiplied by 5.5 squared multiplied by 17. Now the first thing you must do in this formula is you must square the 5.5. We know this from our order of operations. So when we square the 5.5 we get 3.14 to be multiplied by 30.25. multiply by 17. So now we will multiply the 3.14 by the 30.25 and we get 94.985 and this has to be multiplied by 17. When we multiply this out we get 1614.745. Now, volume is three-dimensional, so it's measured in units cubed. So in this case, all our values were in centimetres. So we're going to measure it in centimetres 